two tornadoes that were confirmed from those overnight storms Sunday night into Monday morning in southern Indiana. Uh, du, Bois County, du Bois County and then over in Orange County, Paoli. We've shown you some of the, the videos there. They are still working on this here. And what, what what's going to happen is the Louisville Weather Service Office is going to try to connect the dots here and see whether this was either one long tornado or this lifted and then came back down multiple times. So they went to go visit both of these areas and now they're going to go in between. So that's we'll keep you updated on that. We've got a full, full article on wishtv.com. A lot of rain in, in some areas, not everywhere. I mentioned that I got about an inch at my house, but if you live in the northern portions of the metro, you didn't get a whole lot. Look at some of these numbers down in Johnson County. Again, estimated. Franklin, about two inches of rainfall. Nineveh, about three quarters. Uh, Trafalgar, at just under an inch of rainfall. Same thing in Bargersville, about an inch and a half officially at Greenwood. And Mooresville, but much lighter amounts up to the north. And then a big swath of heavy rain from Bicknell to Lagodi to Bedford. Locally, as high as five inches of rainfall. There were some flooding issues in some of those spots. But we stay dry today for the most part. South Bend, 62, along with Kokomo. Indy, 63. Bloomington sitting at around 68 degrees. Today, I think, will be a nice day. 77 at noon, 83 at 5. Maybe a spotty shower very late into the afternoon. I wouldn't bet on it, though. Again, I think you're going to get a lot of sunshine and uh, maybe just a few afternoon clouds. Indians are back at home against Nashville. I believe Alex Pillow will be there signing autographs here this evening. So you can go check that out. Upper 70s at first pitch, 705. Last pitch at 73. Should be pretty nice. Storm state of the west. There's going to be a strong risk maybe in the plains, but that risk will shift to the east tomorrow. Marginal risk from Indian Point south. There is a slight risk down around Evansville. This is going to be a very similar setup to what we had Sunday night into Monday. Future cast at 4 a.m. tomorrow. I think the morning is dry. No problems at the bus stop. But any time after lunchtime, fair game for some scattered showers and storms. Now, I think these up north, Stay below severe limits, but you could have some pretty heavy rain. And then by late Wednesday night, scattered storms. This is where your severe weather threat could be, and it could be an overnight event. This is 2 a.m. Thursday morning. I do think by the Thursday morning commute, however, we're dry. So again, this is going to be very similar to what we just experienced yesterday morning. Much more of an overnight event. Numbers tomorrow before the rain arrives, pretty standard for this time of year. We'll go low to mid 80s. It will be a little on the muggy side. And then we'll bring the temperatures down just a touch heading into Thursday. But all in all, not bad. Right around 80 degrees for central and northern Indiana, mid 80s down for the southern portions of the state. Uh, eight day forecast presented by Circulus Digital Media. 81 we mentioned for Thursday. And again, just some very early morning showers. We'll dial up the heat and humidity for Friday, but otherwise we're dry 88. Right now, just a slight chance for showers and storms Saturday for the dual races, IndyCar and the Xfinity uh, Series 86. And then the cup cars should be fine on Sunday for Brickyard Weekend, 83 for your high, mid-80s then on the way for Monday and Tuesday of next week.